historical site. Yeah, there's nothing left down there, but that's the first that's the place that the first mole machine was made down there. It's yeah, a historical yeah, yeah. site. It's a historical site and that should be open to the public to go down there and at least visualize that valley of what it was. Now, I don't know what they've got to do to that bridge if they've got to do anything to it. Evidently they do because it's closed. But I'm saying to you is the township's been taking money under the pretenses of road and bridge for years. And I'm saying to you, let's put a little money into one bridge in this township. And that's down there at Horton Road. And instead of leaving that isolated down there, get with the county. I expect somebody next meeting to tell me we talk to the county. And let's see if we can't do something down there. I mean, it's been brought up before your time, Roger. Before your time. John knows it. I think Ed knows it. It's been brought up, it's been kicked around, and when I heard that they're talking about building a bridge down across the ford down there in Ashtabella, they built a covered bridge across down there. Let's do a little something here in Monroe Township. Let's get them guys on the stick. Now, they don't seem to have any trouble uh, west of here getting money spent. That's one, and John said there's more steel bridges. I, I don't know. John, I don't know in the county. I know of only one in this township, and that's that one. I mean, you said it's one, there's more than just that one. I, I'm not taking your word. I don't know of any because I'm not out in the county. Well, but I'm saying well, you one. You mean the county or the township? There's no more in the township. No. So you, yeah, there's more in the county. Yeah. I think that's what I said, John. I yeah. said, you brought it up before, there's more in the county. And I said, that's the only one I know of in the township. Right. Yeah. And I well, say, what well, well, Hudson Road? What? Yeah, I, <laughs> if you want to know the history of where they're at. No, I don't really want to. I, okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay. But I think somewhere along the line, somebody had to be talking to these guys and find out, hey, 
where's Monroe Township at in this? We paid a lot of money to the county. And, the, and under the pretense of the road and bridge fund, we paid a lot of money to the township for road and bridges that we have no bridges to take care of. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I'm just telling you what it says. Yeah, I know. I if me reading that, I, that means you guys are taking care of the bridges in the town. I'm talking it. about me reading it. I the think. average citizen would think that meant you guys were taking care of the bridges. The average citizen doesn't know anymore because it used to be, at least on my road, the county had a thing there, weight restrictions and whatever else, and the county took care of it. Now they don't. There's no signs on any bridges that tells you anything that I know. And I'm not arguing with you guys about the money. I'm saying, hey, that's the pretense that that money's taken under. Let's take some of that money and put it down to that bridge and find out what, what needs to be done. Well, we use that money by culverts with it to replace, you know, any I hear you, John. Had. I hear you. I'm not arguing with you on that. I'm saying that the levy is for the terminology. That's what the terminology is. Well, that's not a bridge. Well, that's just together. You know, it, it, the county owns the bridge. We can't. We, we can't force the county to put a new bridge in down there if they decided not to. I understand that. But I'm telling you, we've got to put out one on the board that's never had a bridge. All three of us have been to the engineer and we've discussed this and we've talked about it. John, you want me to go get the minutes for October 28th where you said you was going to talk to the guy? Since then, you haven't said anything about that bridge. So I have to take it to mean that you didn't talk to him. I have to take it to mean that you may have. I, I talked to Tim Martin because I talked to him about what more down here because of that garden. Yeah. And he told me that we're going to build a bridge on Hart Road. That's all he told me. Well, that's the word I got. So I, think, I, heard, I think if the old mill was still there. Well, they were thinking, this would be different. They were thinking. Was a walking bridge or something was the only thing they were thinking. Okay? Recreational type bridge. You understand what I'm saying about the board? Yeah, I know. I've been covered bridge. We, our tax dollars built that covered bridge as well as anybody else in this county. Yeah. And we're going to put the Ford bridge down there that's never had a bridge. Oh, I can make that out. It, it, it's your signature I can't make out. <laughs> 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 For game, Ron. All right. Uh, it seems to me at the one meeting, somebody said that uh, trustees only have to take care of the. How did you say that? They don't have to do any physical work. I'm pretty our sure that's job what they is, Yeah, I don't remember how I said it, but it, our job is to manage. Have you ever read the thing on per diem? No, I never have. John, you ever read the thing on per diem? No. Oh. Well, there's a copy of it on the internet. And basically what it says is with a $750,000 budget, to, to a $1.5 million budget. Per diem, you guys are entitled to $51.44 per day. Maximum of 200 days. Now, I know there are probably a couple of you guys could probably tell me how many hours or how many days that you put in for this township. I don't doubt that for a minute. But the reason you get to your 10000 or whatever exact figure it is is the max you can get is 200 days. That's not 200 hours. That's 200 days. Now, my thing to you guys is, we've hashed this over before, and I'd like to hash it over again. I'd like to see you guys go to per diem. You can't do it today, but at the beginning of next year, it can be in effect. You guys can vote on it and put it into per diem, it doesn't say there it has to be done the week before. It says it has to be in effect the first of the year. Yeah, I need to read that. Well, I'll, I'll get it. It's in the computer. Uh, computer. But anyway, then it goes on to say about you guys being on salary. But nowhere in there, Roger, does it say that you guys do not have to physically work. It doesn't say you do have to but by the context of getting 51.44 per day for 200 days, I would think somewhere along the line it would be you would be doing something physical. That's always been until I don't know when John. John, do you remember when you guys went to this uh, 
pay instead of per diem? Was you in office then, or was it prior to you? I don't know. Prior to everybody. Prior to everybody. It was when John, uh, Lord Ring and Red and uh, someone else was there. Yeah, so that probably been 20 years ago? Probably been yeah. probably 30 years ago. I've been here 24 years. Yeah. That was the main reason that levy was put on was for that fire truck. And I think that that should be explained to the people where where you're going. I mean, what's wrong with that? Yeah, no. I mean, set up a, whatever's convenient for you guys. Well, I, I mean, I, and I don't know if the candidates, I don't know if the candidates are going to be right now. I don't know, whatever. But I think the people ought to have the right to listen to what the candidates got to say, ask them some questions. We've always had a candidate tonight, haven't we? No, yeah, no, it's, no. We didn't drop it, and I didn't have one the last time. No. Well, you were John. You was running too. You <laughs> we, remember? Didn't have, we didn't have one. Then. We did the uh, when when I when was running, yeah. we had one. Yeah. Okay. Remember? Yeah. But when you and I and John and Harvey and yeah, we didn't have one. Yeah, we didn't have one. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Well, yeah. I mean, it'd be a good thing to explain the levy. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it could help. And maybe you're only going to get five people there, maybe <coughs> I don't know. But it doesn't, I mean, what's, why not take a couple hours explaining to the people and answer questions on it? You know, and I don't, I know nobody wants to go there and get beat up. Now, when you come here, it's a different story. <laughs> okay, so, can yeah. I move on? <laughs> yeah, I got one more question to Chris here. Chris, I can't get the individuals how much it costs for insurance for each individual. I have, it. I have it down here. Individual? Yeah. Oh, you do? Under the units? This is the waste no. thing? Yeah. Well, it doesn't say individual. Oh, not that one. There's another one. Oh, was there? Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Thank yeah. you. There's another one over okay. there. Thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Okay. Richard. Last year, you guys started that ditch on our river for the Adams. You guys saw. Uh, Supposedly, power washing that crossover pipe out. Nobody's cleaned it out yet. You know, you guys, somehow the fire department mistakenly did my driveway tile and blew the cover off for somebody to trip in, but nobody's, you know, took care of that crossover pipe on there. And then you got the crossover pipe on Root Road that's up out of the ground. Yeah, we. And the road grade is tearing it up. We got, we're going to reset that one. You're talking about that 10 inch pipe that goes across the road by your house. If you could do the crossover pipes, take a couple of your fence posts orange. Mark the ones you I want thought done. you guys blew that up. We, no. we did do his driveway. We, we thought it was his driveway. The one across the road, dude. The one across the road, which I thought you guys meant to drive oh, If you yeah. The pipes that need <laughs> done, paint right. a couple of orange posts. All right. And then let me know, and I'll send the guys out to do it on Tuesday night. Normally, you guys have a post on the inner chimney of those uh, tiles. There's not <coughs> one on that road, on the Adams, for that salt grinding truck to, to know that's a crossover price, not to be spreading right there. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they put those there by bridges and the crossover. There's no there when he was digging around. There's no stakes there on either side of the road. Well, this was before you were in there. Oh, and you got the yeah, hole still on Root Road down by the bridge is getting bigger and bigger with all this rain. And what's the deal with the salt barn? How come they're going down the edge of the road? You know, it used to do it right down the middle. Most of the traffic drives right down the middle of the road. I don't know about that, you know, Carl. You, you salt barn the edge where everybody's on the other side. You know, in the middle, they got two tires on that dry stuff, just making the dust. Well, I have to ask Carl why he's doing it that way. So, so I'll, he's always done it. Right? Yeah, I'll ask him. I mean, what color is those trucks of tussles? I think we got a blue one. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've seen. Well, that's what I thought. But I seen a red map, I think, out there on that road you guys were talking about. On Scribner Road? We'll get a license number. Well, it's kind of hard, you know, when you're not really paying attention to who's doing that, you know. But yeah, but I, ain't seen, have I ain't seen that red truck around in a while. Carl does have a red one. He's got a red one and a blue one. I don't know. I think I know it's seen the blue one. I don't. I haven't. Seen I know you. I'm pretty sure you got a blue one. 
Yeah, I know you got a They were spreading our root road the other day. Well, if it doesn't say have his name on the truck, know. get us the plate number because we'll get him. Yeah. We want to get this stopped. Somebody, because he called me, and somebody spread on the Yeah, it was spread by a brine truck. Yeah. All right. So, but like I said, I did see a red one out this way. You know, I ain't seen it in a while. So they must have had water or something where they worked on a well. Is what I'm thinking, and they had stuff. And when they when they swab a well, they usually have a truck there or a tank that they pump it into. So whoever cleaned the well around here probably had that truck there, and they were just going to dump it somewhere on the river to get rid of it. So it sounds like to me. Yeah, it's only happened on Scribner Roads and so only far. One time. Yeah, only one time. So well, I don't know. So far. Whatever well got cleaned, it, it's probably what happened. Yeah, because when they swab that, they pull a lot of water out. Well, without having proof, right? You kind of have an idea, but you need proof. When are you guys gonna take care of that hole? Soon we got a whole bunch I'll of tell stuff you, we're fixing. The motorcycle goes down there and hits that hole. It's pretty soft. Down by the bridge. Yep. They would definitely dump a bike. Down by the cover bridge for time. Yep. Right at the top of the hill. You can't see it until you're crusting over one way or the other way. Before it was just a, you know, almost two foot. Now it's over three foot. Nothing but mud. That's east of the bridge, cover bridge? Yes. Yeah, the other side's all black top. Yeah, yeah, I know. About Somebody knocked those signs there. over when they were no, mowing. Right, right by Magnuson. Right. Where we mowed uh, Stanhope, knocked the signs over, I see somebody put them back up. Well, those are county signs on uh, that end anyway. On, on, uh, on Whit Road? On the West End, yeah. On Stanhope, Calvin, and Dillon Road? Right on Whit. The height through the bridge sign and there's well, those those are there. all counties, aren't they? All those signs, yeah. Because the bridges are probably back out back up, about thirty feet away. Yeah, somebody put them back up. But I see somebody knock them over when they mowed, but they turned around. They wasn't paying attention. Just back right over them. It's not hard to do, but we didn't do it. So. And, uh, <laughs> and those, I know you guys are you know, you know, busy, but you know, on these rain days, you know, all these guys don't need to be in the shop. You know, they've got that tractor, a closed in cab, they can be mowing the edge of the road back. Yeah. We're on it. They've been doing most of it. Well, I've done some, and it's been a rough week to do it. Yeah, yeah. today we had tractor and everything else. Okay. And, uh, Mike. Okay, Mr. Skupka. Now, as everybody can see, um, tonight, Mr. Wick and Mr. Anderson got to speak without being interrupted by someone else in the audience. Last meeting, I got to speak about 30 seconds before Mr. Osborne interrupted me to tell me I was wrong about something. Now, if I had been wrong, I might have appreciated it. But I wasn't. He was. And the reason I know that is because Mr. West over here recorded the meeting I was talking about, which was um, the meeting of 512 or 15. And if you go to about minute 16 on the recording that he has posted on his website, um, you can see that what I said was correct and Mr. Osborne was mistaken. Here's how it went down. Um, Mr. Osborne asked Mr. Sherman about monthly road and sign inspection records, just like he said. Then Mr. Sherman responded that no one told him that needed to be done. Remember that? Yep. Okay. At that point, Mr. Riley can clearly be heard saying, that's a state law. You have to. Remember that? Yep. Okay. So I think you guys should make a rule that no, no other resident should interrupt the resident that's speaking while he's speaking and enforce it. Yep. That's all I got.
Okay, great. I'm done. Okay, thank you, Mike. Yep. Any comments? You know, we'd like to talk. If don't interrupt what we're trying to do, okay? I mean, can everybody understand that a little bit? Well, I mean, like tonight's meeting is an example of how it worked well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, input's fine. Hey, thanks, Mike. Sure thing. Okay. I'll make a motion. Okay. And made a motion, we adjourn. I'll second it. I'll second it. I'll favor. Thank you.